Top of the news at 5 o'clock, new ideas to bring this rundown, dying field back to life. This is City of Palms Park, where the Red Sox used to play. This stadium has had its history, but now history is all that it seems to have left. Until now, the future here now could be soccer. Awake News reporter Emma Heaton joins us live. And Emma, you've heard, we've heard so many different ideas for this park over the years. Is this idea really going to happen? Well, City Council believes so. It's why they chose Scythe LLC as the winners, and they've got some big plans to bring Major League Soccer to right here in Fort Myers, and they have a whole lot more in store. Thursday, in front of City Council, four companies pitched their plans for the City of Palms Park, this area you see here. Using the power of soccer really create this active and vibrant district. From a music venue and brewery to an academy to a flexible facility filled with a little bit of everything. Each group had some big ideas. Soccer, football, lacrosse fields for the academy and for events. Facilities need to be multi-generational. Leveraging um, the, the opportunity around the stadium to transform everything that's happening in that part of the city. First to present to council and the group who took first place, Scythe LLC, which called its redevelopment plan a legacy project. Scythe said they'll bring in redesigned baseball facilities, soccer initiatives, including the expansion of the MLS Next Pro League. When you think about young players here in Fort Myers having the opportunity to start their soccer journey here with their hometown team, Plus the addition of more sport courts and even a food truck park with the possibility of a hotel. I caught up with Bill Gramer, who presented with Scythe. He told me he can't wait to get started. Well, you should be you should be excited that our team got chosen for this. Um, there's a lot of opportunities that we're going to make available for the youth in the community, especially, but also multi generational from the youth, um, all to all you know all the way up to the generations, and it's going to be a lot of different sports activities that can be done. Well, it's all sunshine and happiness for Gramer. It wasn't all positive. Council was tasked to rank each presenter on a point ranking system that could go up into the hundreds. Councilman Bochette wrote down a whole lot of zeros while his counterparts gave credit where it was due. I'm sorry, but this is just a black eye for the city. I look at this as a winner take all. Because we were given a criteria. They get so many points out of each. <coughs> Win the silver medal, you lose the gold. This is not the Olympics. And you put a zero, that's fraud. <coughs> You want to adjourn? It is no, four, no, no, three. No, no, no. Graymer said the intent is to have MLS Next Pro start in 2025, which is when we'd have a Fort Myers team here. Live in downtown Fort Myers, Emma Heaton, Wink News.